And the point he's making here is, وَإِذَا خَذْنَا مِيثَاقَكُمْ When we took the covenant from you, and we raised the, the, the mountain of Tur above you, خُذُوا مَا آتَيْنَاكُمْ بِقُوَّةً Hold on to what we have given you with great might. This is, these are the words of Allah when the mountain was hovered above them. Right? Or it was collapsing, about to collapse on top of them. Why? Not to force them into accepting it. They've already accepted it. But it's very important. We took the covenant from you, then we raised the mountain, and we told you take it seriously. In other words, it was already proven that they had accepted the messenger, but they weren't taking him seriously. So Allah Azza wa Jal, as an act of mercy from him, they call it nowadays the scared straight program. Right? They, the, Allah Azza wa Jal is gonna rattle them, He's gonna scare them, so they get their act together. Nothing else seems to get them to fix their behavior, so perhaps this event, if nothing else will solve the problem, this should solve the problem. You know? So, so you know, Allah tells them, خُذُوا مَا آتَيْنَاكُمْ Hold on to what we have given you with might. Now the other thing also that's kind of interesting in the imagery of the ayah is, when there's an earthquake, or something heavy is about to hit, or something like that, people grab onto something. Right? You wanna grab onto something? Grab onto what we have given you, the book, that'll protect you. خُذُوا مَا آتَيْنَاكُمْ Then he says, وَذْكُرُوا مَا فِيهِ Very important. He gives them the formula for how do you hold on to it with great might. He says, وَذْكُرُوا مَا فِيهِ And make mention of what is in it. Dhikr in Arabic is two things, to remember something and to mention something. So both of those apply here. Allah is telling the Israelites in regards to the book Allah gave them, the Torah, He's telling them, remember what's in it, and mention what is in it. In other words, knowing what is in it is not enough. You have to remind yourself, repeat it, and you have to mention it to yourself and others. You have to actually out loud recite it to yourself and others. And this is exactly the tradition Allah gave us in the Qur'an. What do we do every time we make salah? We, we fulfill udhkuru ma fihi, reminding yourself and mentioning what is in it, what Allah has given us. He says at the end of all of this, لَعَلَّكُمْ تَتَّقُونَ So that all of you may attain taqwa. This taqwa has been understood once again in two ways. One, taqwa means to protect yourself. So Allah is saying you've, earned your, you've gotten yourself in some pretty serious trouble, if you hold on to the book, you'll be able to protect yourself from my wrath. The other is taqwa in its universal meaning. You want to become people of taqwa because guidance is for people of taqwa. You want to get there, hold on to the book, and remember it and make mention of what is in it repeatedly.